So the only piece of metal I could find just to uh, shim that center bar up is this piece of, what is this, maybe three quarter by four inch. And, uh, you know, the only piece that was easily available. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting the thickness between the, uh, the outside of the, uh, or the inside of the uh, circumference and the, uh, and the outside of the, um, of the uh, center, uh, the center post, and then I'm going to cut that in half later on. So I need to cut two of these, and then cut both of those in half. So I be too bad. Okay, so we've cut these little plugs and uh, slid them in, and now it's going to go in just on the other side of that, and we'll have ourselves a nice support system for a hole right through the center here. And once that happens, then we could machine it off and make sure our hole squared up. And uh, go ahead and I'll have another die one size larger. What size is this going to be? This one is going to be a, looks like a four and a half almost. Probably by the time we get the spring back out of the, out of the piece, it'll be a four and a half inch die, which is... Um, pretty much what we wanted. I think we wanted five inches, but uh, we'll look at that more carefully and see what's going on. So, uh, tomorrow morning I'm going to weld these up. We put our four segments in there, and now um, we welded the other side, and now we need to come in and weld this side, but we can't weld it right up here because um, it'll get in the way of it being round. So, I'm going to come in just on the sides a little bit and well throw just a quick bead on each side and then the sides for the centerpiece too. Alright, so, uh, so we've got it welded. Now uh, I'm just going to go in and face this off and then come in and drill a hole through that uh, through that center there and we'll be set to uh, set the go. Okay, now we're going to come in and uh, we've, we've drilled our uh, our uh, <laughs> center hole, our pilot hole, and now we're going to come in and drill, it uh, looks like about a oh, 3 eighths or something like that. We'll just go ahead and take that and run that all the way through our plug. Once we get that, then we put the larger drill bit in, and I think it's uh, 5 eighths maybe, and uh, run that through and we're ready to go. I mean, I could go in and clean up the outside edge, but, you know, there's really no reason. It's pretty circular, as you can see, it's spinning real nicely. And, uh, and it isn't like we're spinning this thing in high RPMs. We're making a, maybe a half a revolution and pulling metal around uh, to uh, get it the same, uh, the same diameter. So very, uh, very low uh, uh, accuracy, lots of impact. We're getting there. the larger bit in. Yowch! That baby's hot. Okay.
should blast right through this. right through. Now, um, just chamfering that, that inside edge just a little bit. I'm just going to use the, the uh, knife and that just kind of rounds the edge off a little bit. All right. Pull the drill bit back. Turn the motor off. Drop the, the tool. Pull it out. Looks pretty good. Let's uh, notice the holes off, but you know it doesn't matter as long as it's round to the uh, to the circumference. Then the hole is fine. Okay, we'll take it over and try it out. And since I'm using a a rod that's uh, been laying around for a while, it's got a little rusty and stuff. I think it's a good idea to go ahead and kind of clean it up a little bit, make it look pretty again. That doesn't take a whole lot, because right underneath there somewhere is, uh, is the original metal. bit of sandpaper, bring it right back. Yeah, much better. Maybe another run or two and uh, we'll have it finished. We'll save you the boring details. Okay, we're all set to go. We've got our uh, our uh, little attachment piece built and uh, in place and ready to go and basically just slide it in behind here get this post as close as we can get it and uh, I like to come in with a pair of vice grips and grab it it just seems to because uh, it tends to walk off of this thing here and then once it does that then you've kind of lost your uh, your bendability. So basically just kind of come around. There we go. Continuing. Push it all the way around till it kind of bottoms out. And then I come back in and pop the vise. Bring it back to where the arch begins and clamp it again. continue to walk around. Looks like we're going to hit a little bit. So uh, I think what I'll do is just come in and cut that part off. i got to pull the uh, pin in order to get this out. But that's no big deal. <coughs> okay, put it back on the bender pin in place, swing this around till it doesn't, till it's out of the way, and go ahead and 
continue to bring this around. There we go. Put that back in, and we've got pretty close to a good circle, perfect circle. It's a little flat right there, but I think the next one will make it just a little bit longer and it'll be a little bit better. Yeah, and we want it to be a quarter inch larger, and look at that, we're about a quarter inch larger. Now, I'd say that's a good three quarters of an inch bigger than the ball. So I think we've got a good size there. Maybe I might open it up just a little bit and kind of stretch it out, but uh, I think we're pretty good. Okay, so we've completed uh, three of the rings, uh, and they're um, in 5 uh steel. And all I have left to do is uh, weld up this little joint right here, and then we're ready to start working with uh, calculating the height of the rings compared to the um, to the um, where the the sphere is going to land on the platform. And there's the platform there. Here's a couple of pieces of old scrap aluminum that we're going to work with. And then, of course, we'll put the uh, motor. The motor is going to come in behind everything and operate the, um, the uh, sphere. So, that said, we... on to the next step. You know, these are pretty strong magnets, and this is uh, just regular cold roll steel so uh, it's going to be magnetized so what we have to do is uh, put a couple of, of spacers in between and let's go to the side here and so there'll be one over here and one over here and uh, and that'll space the two rings apart from one another and hold it hold it firm so that uh, so they don't uh, pull in or tweak or anything like that so, uh, but at this point, uh, what I have to do is I have to come in, and what I did is I divided this, uh, this 360 degrees into 120 degree increments. So we have three equal segments, and each of these is going to uh, be welded off of the segments on either side, and then the bottom is going to be uh, bolted to the... Uh, to the support table. So, uh, basically, we're going to take this over to the mill and mill a flat on the bottom here so that when it goes onto the table, it's nice and square, and then also drill a hole through it. So let's go over to the table and see what we got. 